everyone. I'm Sherry, Mother Daughter Stampin'. Um, today, our card that we have here is just in time for the fall. And the technique is called Joseph's Coat. To get started, let me show you the stamp set we're going to use. We're going to use Gently Falling. And the one I used for this card was the outline. This is actually a two-step stamp set, meaning that you have the inside of your card, or your leaf, or your stamp, whatever you want to use, and then you have the outline. Um, for this card, I use the outline. Um, but I want to try the other one and see how that turns out. So we're going to try that on the camera and uh, we can all decide which one we like better. Some fall colors. We have Crush Curry, Old Olive, um, Cajun Craze, and I thought we'd use a little bit of Cherry Cobbler. And then the base coat, we're going to use Elegant Eggplant. Okay, now you just have your regular size cardstock and it's folded in half. We're going to take some scrap paper or you could take a post-it note, either one. And I'm just going to tear along here. Okay. And then I'm going to take some temporary glue on here. Or if you use a post-it note, it would be the same way. And get your scratch pad out. Because we're going to do sponging and that will protect your work area. Let's start with old olive. Start out with green get to their yellow oranges and even sometimes kind of a purplish color so just go in a circular motion um, just anywhere on the card okay then for the sake of saving some time on camera um, we'll go right to our last one which is crushed curry and this is a real pretty yellow bright. Um, it'll just kind of make things pop. And it, it goes good with the other colors that we have on here too. It just blends with your greens, your oranges, red and yellow. Make your oranges. So you have different shades going on. Just fill it in. And you can get inky fingers. So. I am going to try and go and wash that before I go to the next step because mostly because you don't want the fingerprints to mess up on your card. Now, um, one of the most important steps now when you're doing embossing is your embossing buddy. And what this is, it has a powder on it and it takes all the oils off of it from your fingers. Um, any moisture that may be on it. So you just rub this all over because you don't want to have um, stray mark. The only thing you want to emboss is what you stamp on there. This part is a little bit tricky and that is hard to see at this point um, where you stamped. So you're going to have to kind of remember where you've been. You won't really be able to see this. <laughs> okay, instead of trying to guess, here's something that you can do on here. Let's go ahead and emboss this. Take this off for now. See, now we can tell. And there is even a few spots there that we don't want on here. So take just a regular brush that you have around the house, painter's brush. Brush off any specks that you don't want there. 
I don't want to put those back on here. All right. Now I'm going to put one of these, some of these acorns on here. gets a little bit glossy and it starts doing that then you've got to start moving it around. The bossing part's done. Let's put our mask back on here because now comes the really inky messy part. And my husband said, why don't you use gloves? I said, I can't wear gloves when I'm stamping, but um, maybe I might do that for this part. You get ink everywhere. The next step is you have to use a dark color ink. Um, it could be black, it could be night and navy, or what I'm going to use is elegant eggplant. But let me tell you, you get this on your fingers, um, it, it doesn't come off easily. I tried nail polish remover, I used our stamp cleaners, um, soap and water, uh, my husband gave me something out of the garage, but none of it worked. And I had this purple all around my fingers and nails. I tried Clorox. And I just soaked my fingers in it and that took it right out. But then you want to make sure you wash them good because it'll dry your hands out real quick. So uh, you might decide on this step that you're going to want to use some gloves. You can also use a brayer though, actually. That's another idea. Let's try the brayer on this one, see what happens. And with your brayer, you just ink it up the long way so you get the whole thing on there. Get it all inked up. Yeah, this might work better. And ah, see how it comes out? And then all the colors that you sponged underneath the leaves are coming through. Yeah, that works out pretty good. Maybe uh maybe that's a good alternative. When you get all that done, then you're going to take a Kleenex paper towel. And you're gonna go over where the stamp is and just take the ink off of the top of your stamps. And what you have left behind is that's all the colors that you put on your fall leaves. Take your mask off and there you go. Okay, well I'm a little divided. Which one do you like? Of course on this one I could put a stronger coat on it. Um, that might have worked out good too, but I like both of them, so I don't know, you choose. And then of course I stamped with Elegant Eggplant down here in the bottom and added the Blessings, which is from the stamp set um, Take Care. But I thought that would be appropriate for Thanksgiving time. And stamped the inside. Oh, and also the envelope. Don't forget the envelope. I did try this on glossy paper, but for this technique, I'm not too fond of that. I think these two, I like both of them. You decide. Let me know what you think. Thanks for coming by. Bye.